Hi guys, Taseni, Remambo, Entisen, Ohorowanyu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Ruth Kim. If you've never seen me or if it's your first time here in my channel i share my own experiences as a foreigner living in germany i share information that i know and i feel like it's going to help someone else out there and sometimes i just want to have fun so this week guys i'll be giving you answers to some of the questions i'll be i've been getting from maybe germans or other foreigners who are living here in germany and most of the questions that i will be answering they have to something to do with us black people or africans so today i'm going to start with why black people or africans do dreadlocks before i start guys i know some of you are asking themselves why why is she talking about dreads she has no idea she don't even have the locks herself let me tell you guys this video or the answers that i'm going to give you today I have taken my time to research guys I've even done everything possible to give you the perfect answers and I hope you're going to enjoy it so let's go guys let's go and one thing I've learned one thing or the first thing that I've learned is that they are not called dreads they are called locks don't say to someone with dreadlocks or locks oh my god when did you first start doing dreads no 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 they are called dreadlocks or just locks but I start telling you guys what I've researched. Let me start by asking you guys this question as well. So what do you think when you see someone with locks? To be honest, maybe you assume that they are Rastafarians from Jamaica, that they they listen to reggae music, they smoke. You know what I mean, guys? And if they are white, especially here in Germany, they are said to be anti-capitalism. They are, you know, we assume that they are those dirty, dirty people. Those people who do road protest and die. Uh, in the time we are living in, most people have taken dreadlocks to be about fashion. Some people don't even know why they dread their hair. Maybe they think it's an easier way to stay natural. It's the best. I, actually, it's the best way to identify yourself and to stay natural. So most people do it for fashion, and some people grew, grew up having dreadlocks. They were put. Uh, they were done to them by their parents, so they don't even know the meaning of the dreadlocks. Uh, let me share with you guys what I've researched about the dreadlocks according to the Rastafarian movement. Locks are symbolic of the Lion of Judah, which is something centered on the Ethiopian flag. The Rastafarians hold that, that Haile Selassie is a direct descendant of King Solomon and Queen Sheba, and their dreadlocks were inspired by the Nazarites from the bible or of the bible something else that i've researched is that dreadlocks are not just about religion in fact if you speak to someone with dreadlocks they are going to tell you it's more than fashion and guys i've asked a few friends of mine or with dreadlocks and they have shared their why they have shared their reasons why they have done dreadlocks and don't mind the chickens in my background if you don't know guys i'm back at home i'm in kenya and if it's not a if it's not a chicken it's a cat if it's not a cat it's a dog so don't mind the noise in my background and i'll be sharing with you guys some screenshots of the reasons they gave why they have dreadlocks We met this Jamaican guy and he has very very long locks and we asked him why he has his dreadlocks. He didn't trust himself to be on the camera but he shared with us the reasons why he put he had dreadlocks. And he said it's about patriotism, which actually makes sense. It's the feeling of love devotion and sense of attachment to a homeland or, or, or to a specific culture. 
you know they feel like they belong to africa and they have to keep to have something which is still attached to them which give them a symbol of where they come from so before i keep on like talking talking let me share with you what guys what i got from the morgan heritage yes i had to dig deep i had to dig deep i had to dig deep guys before i give you false information remember they're not called threads they are locks let me share with you a clip about the morgan heritage there's like you say a different territory there are different songs that really made it big you know, like here in africa songs like don't have to dread to be rasta nothing to smile about don't buy the river she's still loving me and the list can go on you know but there's like one particular loved by people everywhere we go is a song called don't have to dread to be rasta yeah yeah can you guys do a little bit of it for, for me i'm going to be dread to be rasta you don't have to dread this is not a dreadlock thing, divine conception of the heart. Yay! Yeah, you know? <laughs> that is amazing. And let's listen in to a bit of that song. I know a lot of you love it. Um, do we have that ready? Okay, we don't have that ready quite yet. But let's continue and we'll play that song for you shortly. Misconceptions about dreadlock feet. Let, let's talk yeah. about that. Um, a lot of parents, um, and you know, just the craze with a lot of kids, you know, particularly teenagers, wanting to grow their hair out, wanting to have dreadlocks. And then parents, the conservative ones, saying no, because yeah. of the mis misconception about dreadlocks. Let's talk about this misconception. Yeah, a lot of people feel like, you know, dreadlocks, it's, it's nasty, it's dirty, but we tell people, look, I wash my hair, I probably wash my hair more than people who don't have locks. Mm. You have to keep it clean, you have to keep it fresh, you know, yeah. you have to keep it smelling good. Like Mojo said, the berries and the juices, you know, yeah. so there's nothing wrong with it. And if a person desires to wear locks, that's their personal choice. Mm. It has nothing to do with um, the religion of Rastafari. Because before Rastafari, you know, there, there were warriors in Kenya who wore locks. You know, from the ancient times who had to fight for the liberation of Kenya or Ethiopia. There are many warriors of Africa that wore locks long before Rastafari come around, you know. So it's just an, it's just an ancient African culture that we adapt to and want to be a part of. And to How remember old are yours? How long, long have you had yours? Since mm, 98, almost so two years. decades. Yeah. Wow. What about yours? Yours are shorter though. Mine? Yeah. No. It's pretty long. long. Yeah. Yeah. I just <laughs> like sucking on it. Yeah. <laughs> I've had mine since I was a baby. Since you were a baby. Old, yeah. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have dreadlocks, if you're on locks, guys, put it down there in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Why you have your locks? on why you decided to do it or what's the thing behind it thank you so much guys for watching thank you so much guys for watching if you are new subscribe to my channel please subscribe watch my other videos it's also free and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye